been a couple days. I got tired tilling the garden. It got really, really hot that day. I had to quit, but I got some of it started. And then I got really, really busy preparing for Leon's birthday party. And I kind of got a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie, um, looking at the rest of the garden to till and with how little bit of time I have. And I had a thought, I have a neighbor. We have a neighbor out here that has a tractor. So I called him and asked him if he had a tiller attachment. And he did, and he said that he can come out and till our garden for us, which is gonna be a lot easier for me. So we are going to get the garden tilled. It rained. Which is good because now I'm getting an idea. We're gonna need to bring dirt in because uh, while the garden didn't flood, that did, which we kind of suspected it would. So we're definitely gonna bring some dirt in and put it on either side to raise this up and raise this up just a little bit more to try and get, get it past there because it's lower here than it is elsewhere. So but it's draining away from the garden. That's the big thing. So yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna need to address this, which that's okay. That's okay, we're gonna be bringing in more dirt anyways, so we'll just have to bring in more dirt. So we're gonna get the garden tilled, but we gotta pull up this tarp first because I don't know if he is going to till today or if he's just gonna come look today. He kind of sounded like he might bring the tractor out and till today. Leanne, you wanna help me right quick, buddy? Sure. We got a bunch of us. Uh... <laughs> we got a bunch of volunteer loofahs. mulch and tarp. We're going to go ahead and re-tarp it because I don't yet have enough mulch to mulch this entire bed. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I'm going to go ahead and get it tarped so it stays good. Breaks down all of that grass and roots that are in there. And then we'll just have to mulch the far end where the asparagus are. I'm out of energy, but I got a third of the garden bed mulched. I'll take that. And I'm pretty happy with that. We got the garden tilled. We got two thirds of it covered in a tarp, a third of the uncovered area mulched with the wood chips we got from our tree guy. If you see in the background, I got some, I got two piles. One of the best ways to source wood chips for your garden is through contacting uh, one of your local tree cutting services because they have to pay to have it disposed. And oftentimes you can call a tree company and 
ask them if they could drop the wood chips off at your place for your garden and maybe toss in like 10 or 20 bucks in gas because 10 or 20 bucks for a pile a full truckload of wood chips is way cheaper than buying the chemically coated painted mulch from the hardware store see look at all that 40 bucks for two piles way cheaper and that might actually cover half of my entire garden which our garden's huge we've got like a 20 by 100 something like that 20 20 to 24 foot by 100 foot garden bed but if you've got smaller gardens beds obviously one truck will probably be plenty for you but, but i mean yep here we go tilled mulched almost ready for planting <laughs>